Hello, David Rauschendorfer here, your cybersecurity resource. And in this module, we want to go over your roles by controls matrix. And what that means is identifying who within your organization, what department, what area, what business unit holds what responsibility over the security controls that you're going to implement to manage the risk for your operations. So you can see here, this is the basic setup. Again, following the NIST CSF framework for the controls. Now we can fill this out in different ways if you just want to identify who's holding what responsibility. You're going to take this top row up here and actually document out your organization. So you want to update that, modify it so it fits your organizational requirements. This can often be done be by actually following your hierarchy. So if you have an org chart or something that's been issued, if you kind of follow that, it's oftentimes the best way to set this up initially. You may find there's other sections that you want to add, internal departments or things of that nature. So you're going to modify this to fit your organizational needs. And as you go to fill this out, we do have a legend here. We just set this up as a RACI model. Again, make sure it makes sense for your organization to follow that RACI model, um, you know, depending on the size. But again, this shouldn't be anything that's new, um, responsible, accountable, consulted, or informed. And then just documenting you know, those security controls. So the, you know, access control policy or privilege management, you know, who's going to actually control that. So, uh, or be responsible for that, you know, IT management and, and those type of things. So just documenting out that, you know, they are the ones that are responsible for those. Um, and it's going to play into a bigger aspect when we get into the roles and controls. So uh, if this seems like a, a tedious task, it is definitely not. It is really the building blocks to identifying and understanding your procedural requirements uh, as we get into uh, documenting the SOPs uh, for the organization and for the security processes and workflows that are being used across the organization, then you're going to be able to understand what departments, what areas of the organization need to be addressed uh, mostly from a security perspective based on who holds what responsibility to these security controls, who you're going to connect with who you're going to have to document out and, and work with to make sure that we're meeting uh, industry standards on those controls and, and all of those aspects. So um, this is really a, a building block re requirement. So it's not a, a tedious task that you're being asked to, to work through. Um, working through and, and documenting this is a key component. Uh, to the overarching program development for your security program. So make sure you do take the time to uh, fill this in uh, again as it makes sense here um, and then um, go ahead and work through the actual document. You can kind of see there's going to be all of those components um, that uh, go through the NIST CSF controls requirements. And be able to kind of fill in this document, right? So should actually freeze freeze this pane. Should have been on there for. But um, okay, so this is a, a very initial building block setup, uh, giving us some understanding on who holds what responsibility across the organization for these security controls. It's going to assist us as we get into documenting these security controls. 
uh, for the organization in, in making sure we understand uh, and that we have the same responsibility listed here is what's in process in that workflow. Um, and so make sure we're documenting this. If there are any questions about it, make sure you just leave some comments below uh, and, we'll, and we'll be able to uh, reach back out to you and address those uh, questions as they come up. Uh, but make sure you continue to watch through these modules. Uh, some of those questions are gonna be answered, I'm sure, as we get into the, the procedure documents and how this all really plays a, a big role in uh, pivoting those procedural documents. So um, thank you and stay tuned for the next module.